My work is about memorialising the Nineties dance culture in stone. My name is Dan David. I'm a stone carver from Norwich. When I was at college, I used to go out raving all the time. Every weekend, me and my mates went all around the country to free parties and raves. It completely changed my life. The best years of my life. I often reminisce about that period, about the new age traveller parties and fields, people I met. And also, the YBAs, the young British artists, were there massively influential to me. My first rave I ever went to was in 1990. It was called Hyperbolic Sound System. So all of the raves had really funny names. Proper stuff, off your face, Planet Yes. It was a rave in a Second World War underground hospital in some woods, uh, just south of Norwich. We'd have a telephone number to call and we'd go to a public payphone, call the number, and then we'd be told where to go and meet, usually in the big supermarket car park. Then a car would come along, pick us all up, and we'd follow this convoy of 20, 30 cars to the rave. And uh, we went in underground, UV lights, strobe lights, people with their white teeth, massive eyes like saucers gurning at us. It's because so many like-minded creatives coming together. We were just like one big family. And it was like, what is going on? This is just mental, absolutely crazy. I'll never, ever forget that night. Years ago, I worked alongside a brilliant stone carver called Roy, Roy Bell. I'll never forget him saying to me one day when I was carving a piece of stone, look at that beautiful piece of stone, boy. Millions and millions of years to form and five minutes for you to fuck it up. <laughs> this piece is called What You On, the same name as my solo exhibition in London. It's made up of 42 different types of stone from all over the world, including limestone from Portugal, uh, there's limestone from Croatia, sandstone from Ireland, and gala stone, quite an unusual type of stone from Rajasthan in India. This dove is from the first batch I ever made in, when I was at college 26 years ago in 1992. Firstly, I get get the raw block of stone and get it cored into whatever diameter uh, size pill I want. It's basically cored and then you have long tubes of stone. I get that done at a, a firm down the road. Once that's done, I bring it back to the workshop and cut it up into the size that I require, and then create a sort of concave shape on the top of the, of the pill that the logo goes onto. Once that's all done, I draw out the logo. The problem with these Mitsubishi logos is that they have to be absolutely precise, and because the top of the the stone is slightly domed. That concave shape can distort the shape of the, the diamonds, which is crucial you get those bang on. Let's start carving it. The majority of the pills are carved, they're made out of Portland stone because it's so similar to an actual synthetic tablet. The colour, the chalkiness, 
Yeah, and I've used that for about 20 years. It's one of my favourite limestones to use for relief carvings and sculptures. And it's so soft to carve. It's one of the reasons why I use it. I've used little tiny rasps and files to get in all the edges in the, the corners of the logo. Then I rub the face of the stone where the logo is to get rid of all the pencil marks. The pills of the 90s, all of the logos are very, very aspirational sort of logos like a Mitsubishi symbol, a Playboy symbol, an Apple symbol, uh, VW, uh, just to name but a few. I'm heavily influenced by the 90s and graffiti artists and uh, decided to make a range of outrageous oh, spray cans and the same with the skateboards. My intention is not to promote drugs at all. I'm simply reflecting my experience of the 90s rave scene through my artwork. And it wasn't all rosy, but it's more about memorialising the good times that I had back in the day. I want somebody to see that California sunrise. I think I remember those from 1990 at a proper stuff warehouse rave in Cambridge, or a dove from Castle Morton Free Festival in 1992. Setting these memories in stone are a way of making the impermanent permanent. I guess I'm creating a sort of memorial to the fun that I had.